Hey guys, Six here. I have been down the carnivore diet now for over 30 days, a little over 30 days, 33 days. I have achieved all my goals. It's doing everything I wanted it to do. I'm virtually in zero pain and I've been in pain, tremendous amount of pain for a lot of years on all kinds of drugs and painkillers and everything I could do to, to relieve myself. And now I'm on none of them. And the only thing that I'm doing is eating carnivore and I am pain-free arthritis, shoulder joint, everything. And I've had tremendous amount of bone damage and damage to myself and nerve damage. And I have none of it right now. So I'm very, very happy about that. On the weight loss part of it, I have reached my body. I've reached a plateau. And I've always joked that this is my body, my birth weight at 205 pounds, which is about where I'm floating right now. I keep going up and down. I don't check too often, but I but I haven't moved from that position. So, you know, it does this kind of stuff periodically with body weight and what you eat and drink and all that kind of stuff. So it's always doing this. But it was doing this, you know, which is what I want. But now it's straight across. And it's been that way for about a week. So I have uh, built up my resistance or my, my body has adapted. I'm not making the changes I want. So... Um, much like I did when I was a young man, is uh, when I was working out pretty heavy. If I had reached a plateau in the gym, I would just mix up my exercises. I would mix up my routine and, and break that routine so that my body would have to adapt again. And that's what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to do it with fasting. I have fasted in the past. I have only gone as far as seven days, um, which was easier than I thought it was. It was I thought it was going to be quite difficult. But it wasn't as anywhere near as difficult as I thought. But um, it usually comes in the first with the hunger pains and things in the first couple of days, and you can get past that. I, I know one way to do it because my wife was a, a fitness competitor. Is that they would carb load and then de deplete and do different things to manipulate their body. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to manipulate my body, and the way I'm going to do that is to fast. So, for at least 24 hours, maybe. You know, I might go as long as 72 hours. So I might go three days uh, fasting. We'll see how I feel, see how the hunger comes along. I'm going to keep you up to date with what happens on this little journey here. But that's what I'm going to do. Um, and the idea is to get myself kickstarted. I know that I will lose weight, obviously. When you don't eat, you lose weight, period. So that will definitely change that. Um, the other way I used to do it <clears throat> is to just eat a bunch of, you know, eat a bunch of junk. I don't want to make myself sick or mess myself up, so I really don't want to do that. But for me, what I'm going to do now is to just start going with nothing. So that's what I'm going to do. So some Diet Coke, some coffee, and tea will be the extent of anything that I will consume over the next one to three days. <laughs> I don't want to get myself in trouble. I'm going to do my best to hit those, but we'll see what happens, okay? And we'll come along together. And I'll show you what we do, and I'll tell you how I feel, and, um, and see if it works. Well, here it is. It is now 6.30 in the evening. Sweet has just finished her dinner, um, which smelled really wonderful. But, you know, I am, I'm not feeling too hungry, so this is pretty good. I haven't eaten since yesterday, uh, last night actually, and around 8, I think, was the last time I had something to eat. And I haven't eaten at all today. So my goal of this is to, as I've mentioned, is to kickstart my metabolism and to see if I can get some progress happening again because I've stalled out so my way to do that is to give myself a little punch and the way to do that is to just restrict a little bit and and try to change things up a little bit so today I'm not going to eat anything and I'm going to see how I feel tomorrow I might not do it tomorrow I know by now uh, since yesterday so I'm already into some autophagy so I'm burning some bad cells and some dead cells and basically doing a little maintenance on my body right now which I'm quite happy about and, uh, and so it's going to make me feel good when I'm done, and I'm happy about that. So let's see what the weight does as well, and let's see what the pain does. As of now, I have none. None, zero. I haven't eaten anything, and I don't plan to eat anything. So let's see. Day number one. We'll see how I feel in the morning. Good morning. It is uh, about 7.30 in the morning, and this will be 36 hours of, of nothing. So... The last 36 hours I have, oh, there you are. <laughs> Not really sure where the camera is on this silly thing. Anyways, I haven't eaten in 36 hours, and uh, I feel fine. I don't even feel hungry. I'm about ready to make some coffee right now, and, uh, and I'm going to just keep on trucking because uh, I feel pretty good. And I weighed myself. 
I was at 205 and I was sticking at 205 for about a week. I wasn't moving at all. Um, and that's what I always joke about being my birth weight. Uh, but I am now just pretty much one full day of not eating. Just uh, ate my dinner the night before. Went one day and now it's morning again and so about 36 hours and I'm down to almost 200 pounds. I'm at 201 right now but I'm sure by <clears throat> by the time I'm done I'll achieve my goal of breaking that 200 mark which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get myself, kickstart myself again and get past it and I think this is doing it. So, And I'm in a autophagy right now which is the part that I love the most because I'm going to come out feeling wonderful. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you, and this is part of the journey and part of the adventure, but this is this is long-term or prolonged fasting with carnivore diet, um, and the goal, my goal is to lose weight and to lose pain, and I'm doing those things both quite well right now, and I'm quite happy about it, so I'll see how it goes. I'll let you know if I get hungry a little later today. So I'm having a real heart-to-heart -heart right now. I am starting to feel hungry. I think it's more mental than anything, to be perfectly honest with you. I think I'm being a big sissy is what it's coming down to. But in just uh, about an hour or so, we're going to be coming up on 48 hours, two full days. So I, my wife is making some, Sweet's got some uh, egg drop soup going with <laughs> some beef egg drop soup, which is my favorite. Um, so... I might, I think I'm just going to call it at dinner time. So that's beef. Friday at dinner until Sunday at dinner. But you know, the beautiful thing is that I have dropped down to below my birth weight of 205. Uh, and I've done that. Now I'm at actually at 199. I'm on the right path. So I'm going to continue down that path to do the same thing. However, I am going to have some dinner tonight with my wife. And I'm going to have some egg drop soup that is just my favorite thing. It's been two days. I feel good. Um, I've come up out of my first um, crash that I've had um, in almost two months now, which is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. But you know what's so cool about it is that um, since I just mentioned that topic, I know I'm rambling. It's not what I'm fasting is what this is about but I can tell you that now because of the carnivore and now with, I'm going to include in the fasting is that I'm coming up higher you know what I mean so I'm crashing less and when I return and when I come back I come up higher than I was and I remember many many times telling sweet I wish I could just feel normal or I wish I could just feel good you know because I have a lot of things to be good about, or <laughs> I have a lot of things to feel good about, and sometimes you just can't. And I'm feeling good a whole lot more now than I ever have. So, it's pretty awesome, man. And it's carnivore, and it's egg drop soup tonight, baby. And I'm going to cook me up a couple pieces of carne asada, too, because that is one of my favorites. And she made the mistake, which is actually the tipping point. i got to tell her about it. I don't know if... I don't want to tell her because she, she might feel bad. But the tipping point was that she had told me on the way back from uh, going over to our buddy's house to get some tri-tip. But he wasn't home because I want to have that tri-tip for breakfast. But he wasn't home. So on the way home, she goes, oh, it's okay. We could have the tri-tip for dinner maybe. And then I have some carne asada that's all thawed out. And it was like, ding a ling a ling Okay. Well, if she has carne asada thawed out, that means I get egg drop soup and some carne asada. I would say after two days of not eating... That is quite the treat. So that's worth it to me. So I accomplished my goal. I'm going to have an amazing Sunday dinner with my wife. I feel wonderful. I've only had a crash once in two months with my uh, my depression. And at this very moment, I am I have no pain. Um, yeah, I just I'm being blown away actually by the results that I'm getting from this. And for then I've been watching some of these, and by the way, I want to apologize to anybody that I didn't answer your 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 comment yet because I want to answer everybody. But I am kind of a, a little novice at this YouTube studio thing, so I had no idea that I had so many 
comments. I mean, so many. It's going to take me a few days to get through them. But I, but some of them, all of them, need to be answered. And some of them have some really um, incredible personal stories from you, which is incredible. You know, I love it. I'm, it's like I'm making a connection with people that feel the way I do. And I've not had that. Um, I am almost antisocial, so I kind of stay in my little hole, my bubble, so to speak. Um, I'm trying to break out of that. But but because of that, um, I don't have that camaraderie with many people. Like, it's my, my circle is very small. My, uh, my broader circle is enormous, but my close personal circle is, is extremely small. And that's because of my shortcomings, not anybody else's. However, this is pretty spectacular. Those comments and those things are just blow me away. So, rambling once again. So, thank you all so much. And uh, I'll keep you updated on what's happening. And uh, anything more that's happening with carnivore, to all you carnivores out there, keep it up. For those of you who haven't, give it a try. I'm telling you, give it a try. It is changing my life and it'll change yours too. I think, um, I think by the time I turn 60, I'm going to be 40. I think that, but I'm going to do the 40 better this time. <laughs> Talk soon. Well, <clears throat> I'm breaking my fast now with my favorite egg drop soup, along with uh, both chicken and beef broth in it. <laughs> this stuff is so damn good. And I can't, I, I, you know what? I think this is probably one of the best ways to end the fast, too. Something that is easily digestible, easy on the stomach, tastes good easy to make and it's been two two days I'm very very pleased from Friday at dinner until Sunday at dinner and I feel good and I and I did I pushed past my plateau I've gone down almost complete five pounds in two days which is mainly water but it but it feels good to, to get past where I've been sitting for more than a week and so I achieved my goal and I feel really great and autophagy took place which is the act of my body eating itself and and burning through old cells and now with nourishment it'll replenish those cells and I'm gonna feel better and I'm already feeling better so there you go that's my my two-day fast um, I'll do better next time I promise but I, I might have to go somewhere where they're not making egg drop soup mm. thank you sweet